And I found it, guys. So if you go to the most northern keep, the one used by Wizro in the first battle ever played in this game, you can actually find the heart container inside there as Zelda. Oh, hey, guys. So if you come up here and capture this keep just north of where you bomb to the wall, right down there, you can open up this chest, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, this is obviously the piece of heart. Guys, uh... I should mention, take this time to mention that, you know, this was supposed to be coming out. I'm not sure whether this is coming out at the end of the last episode or the beginning of this one. But if it's the beginning of this one, I'm just rambling. You, you know that there's another episode. But if it's the end of the last one, I got an update. And, well, <laughs> uh, the DLC finally downloaded that I, I purchased in a bundle since it hadn't been released yet. And I can now do the Termina missions. So, I'm probably going to do those Termina missions. I do not know if I'm strong enough to do those. Because I tried to do the hero missions, the hero level missions, and man, do those kick the crap out of me. <laughs> I cannot get the, uh, I I've beaten two of them so far. But they took absolutely forever. Not only did they take absolutely forever, but... Honestly, they just... Not only did they kick the crap out of me and put me on edge, and they were the first two missions of the game, but they left me feeling like I cannot do the, uh... I simply cannot do the, uh, required things for the Gold Skull Club, because it's not as simple as kill 1,500 enemies anymore. It's do these other requirements to get this bonus thing, which is cool. It's just troublesome at that difficulty. So I'll have to come back and do that later when I'm better at the game and also when I'm higher level. Because, you know, the level's half of it. Oh well. I'll see you guys when I see ya. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors Blind. So in the last episode, we actually finished Hyrule Warriors Legend Mode. And in this episode, we have a couple of things that we can do. We can go to the adventure map. The master quest map the Twilight map, and the Termina map. Uh, we'll be starting off with the Adventure map, then we'll be going down the list. Uh, during At the end of the last episode, I said Termina. I th hadn't looked at this yet, and we're going to start with Adventure. I figured this is the stuff that's included in the base game. Adventure mode is a special mode in which you can acquire heart containers and powerful new weapons. Power up your warriors and unlock new warriors. In adventure mode, your goal is to access new areas of the map by winning battles with various special rules. Ultimately, you must find and defeat the Dark Ruler. Where, you, where your character can move on the world depends on the battle rank you have attained in the battles on each square. Higher ranks give you more options. I don't know why I had trouble reading that for a moment. So, I think the basis of this is that this is Legend of Zelda 1. This is the actual, like, this is based on that map, and it just goes off from there. So we're just going to start off with this, and we're going to go into battle here. It's going to be with two Azolfos and... Are those supposed to be Pose? I don't, I don't know. I am not familiar with the original games. I haven't played them since I was a kid. So, a rank victory gets me a heart piece. Let's do this. And as you can see, there are a few new warriors on this. So, we have Young Link, which is the Link from uh, Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask. This is him during the Majora's Mask days. There's Tingle, which... <laughs> There's... Twilight Minna. Twilight Minna? She is Midna, but in her Twilight form instead of her Imp form. Uh, and I will be playing as Link. It's just... Uh, well... I wonder... Let's go in the bazaar and see what the young Link has. Attack badge uses the monster tooth. I could care less. Let's just, let's try to use Young Link, actually, because that seems kind of awesome. I don't know what I, well, mm, I don't have any Moblin Flanks. We'll use him soon, but we won't use him immediately since I don't have some of the materials I need to get him stronger. 
All the same, you're going to have to sit through me doing this real quick just as a refresher on how to upgrade badges. Alright. Uh, what's, why not just get them all? Zora Tunic looks like that one. Goron Tunic looks... Doesn't it look different for the other Link? No, I guess not. Once again, gonna be upgrading everything. What do I need for all these? Ganondorf's Jewels, Goma's Acid, Ganon's Mane, oh, and that's it. Alright, so he's pretty much another Link. Uh, of course, he uses Masks, the Fierce DD Mask. I would use that one because the Furious DD Mask looks cool. It's all glowy and stuff with a bit different of a sword. So, yeah, I'll start using him soon. I will not use him immediately, though. We'll start off with Link. Uh, I'm gonna use my horse. Epona of Time. I use her for just about everything. Seriously, though. She's awesome. And she can make short notice of uh, those annoying bosses, aka the... Uh, what are their names? It's the Plant One, Goma, and... Ah, what's his name? Girahim's monster from Skyward Sword, the so-called god that reincarnated into Ganondorf, or whatever. Wait, why did they back out? Summoners are capable of spawning new units. They'll continue spawning units until they're defeated, so make their defeat a priority. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. Da na na na. I see you down there, Link. This is a very long load time. Oh, and now it's not a very long load time. Link, did you just get chased off by an Octorok when you had the full Triforce? And you just let that happen? You, you could have wished that thing... You could have wished yourself immortal. That's something you can do with the Triforce. Obviously, I'm not someone who should hold the Triforce. <laughs> And that big Poe is dead. As you can see, by the way, if you didn't notice the attack stat, this thing has more attack stat than the Master Sword. Though the hidden skill in the Master Sword makes it more powerful, it would take 25,000 kills to unlock. So I'm just more concerned about getting materials and things to upgrade my character, aka using the opponent of time. It expects me not to be able to kill 300 opponents when it gives me this many. Yeah, I guess this is the first one, to be fair. They expect you... You can do this right off the bat, I think. Hey, King Dodongo! Sorry. I got kind of impatient there. All right, let's do this, King Dodonga. And jump on its head. Yeah, you just got kicked by a horse and died. 10 points to anyone who gets that reference. I see a health bar! Which means this thing is about to die. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you foiled the enemy's plan. And got a silver material. That's great! Silver are the good ones for these normal enemies. They're the normal ones for boss enemies, but you know, they're good for the normal drops. They're the equivalent of gold for bosses. It 
don't remember what I've made clear and what I haven't when it comes to these materials. Because, you know, I figured all of this stuff out. I just never quite said it. I don't think. I don't know. Oh, another silver. Lucky me. And mission successful. Another silver. Lucky me. We won. And I definitely got an A rank on that. They did not stand a chance. I killed bosses. And I, I killed just about everything in my path. Haha, -ha, get a heart. One half plus one quarter, aka three quarters. Hi, Pona. You're so beautiful. I love that Ocarina of Time model. It just... The fact that they have different models for different weapons just shows that they put some effort into this. And they made them all based off different things. Like, there's Twilight Princess Epona, there's the uh, Ocarina of Time Epona... I think there was another Epona. Like, the standard one isn't either of those, I don't think. A and clear time and damage taken. So, yeah, I definitely got an A rank. Total rank A. Strength, that's the standard Epona right there. Big Pose Lantern, Large Dark Nut Sword, Big Pose Necklace, Lizalfo Scale, and Monster Teeth. You're in the Serious Adventure Medal. Attained to A rank in Adventure Mode. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> So guys, we're, I don't think we're going to be done just yet. We're probably going to cover two of these per video. Because honestly, these don't seem like they're going to take very long. So yeah. That does mean that these will be shorter videos than I've had in the past. But that's not a bad thing. This is the Adventure Mode series and it's going to be a bit different. Ah, uh, Impa is now viewable in the gallery. Sweet. Require search. Ooh. I think... If you win in adventure mode, special rewards appear on a map. Reward icons will be displayed on any maps with rewards. Win the battle to claim the bronze level reward. To claim the gold river reward, win the battle with an Eric. To find and claim the hidden rewards on... Rewards hidden on the various map squares, first uncover them by searching, then win the battle on the square to acquire them. Some battles will restrict which weapons or warriors can be used. Make sure to keep all the warriors trained and ready to fight. Uh, I will be... You know what? Let's just go straight up. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, I have... Uh, it's us three against them? Oh, sure. These dark nuts won't stand a chance. Defeat the dark nut forces. It doesn't restrict me. So, once again, we're going in with the Epona of Time. In certain adventure mode maps, you'll compete against rogue forces to score more points or complete objectives faster. The key to winning is to be the, mo the best commander on the battlefield. KO count competition. Compete to earn points by defeating enemies. The left number is your warrior score, while the right one is your rival's. Compete to re collect the most rupees during battle. Stronger enemies carry more rewards. Compete to capture the most keeps. Cooperate with your allies to capture as many as possible. Huh. That's actually really cool. The fact that it's like a competition style thing. That's awesome. I wonder... Now that I think about it, is there like a versus mode in this? Or is it just... I don't know. If there is, I would definitely show it off at one point. I'll play against some of my friends who like the game. Oh, yes. Wait, is that? Oh, you just got kicked by a horse and died. Also, cut in half. So, have fun with that, dude. Uh, well, Dark Nut, I can't really let you just do whatever you want. Alright, 
ready to kill this dark nut now. Boom! Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I get a silver one? I got a weapon actually, but it should be a high rank weapon since I did that with the uh, thing with the spirit energy focus spirit. Yeah, that thing. That thing that I was I actually said, but still feel like it's wrong. In adventure mode, a raid captain can march forth from a keep on the battle where the allied on the midst. What? Once the nearest enemy keep is claimed by the unit's forces, the raid captain will continue on from the keep and look for more positions to take. Oh, that is cool. But, not like you're going to live to do it. Good feeling. Good feeling. Alright, uh, time to kill the Dark Nut. I've wasted enough time. Oh look! They lined themselves up for me! How sweet of them! Boom! Oh, the little darkness stood up to my attack. Well, now you're not gonna stand up because you're at 1 HP. Darknet. I didn't even know you were there. A cuckoo. I can't help but take this on. I wonder what that's going to do. Alright. Running this keep. Self field keep. If I can get a gold cuckoo to spawn. Mm, I'm gonna go take the I'm gonna go take the Grey Fairy's fountain. I know I should be going up there and taking care of that thing, but I really want the Great Fairy's fountain. See I even got a present for it! Got a gold cuckoo to kill. See, it's already dead. <laughs> Ooh. More magic. I've got the magic in me. Every track of touch turns into gold. I've got the magic in me. Oh, hey, raid captains. That's why our thing fell so quickly. I'm gonna go take this thing again. It's kind of mine. And just like that, did it. And not only is it deaded.
There we go. Such a good feeling. I love killing these guys. It's fun. But I'm not busy right now. I kind of need to grab these materials and head up there and finish this. Because honestly, while this is fun, this is kind of... droll. <laughs> it's just... These guys don't put up enough of a fight to actually stand a chance. It feels bad. And when I feel bad, I kill things. A lot of things. Thousands of things. 1,220 things so far. Eh, probably a good 100,000 things before this. But 1,220 things so far. And this. While inside keeps the barriers, warrior and warrior's ally is continuing to take damage. To win this, you'll have to rescue the elemental fairy by capturing the keep it's trapped inside. The fairy will help you once it's freed. While inside the keeps the fairies, warrior and always Oh. Uh. I don't actually care. This remind anyone of the Ganondorf thing? Kind of reminds me of the Ganondorf thing. Do you think Gar uh, Dark Nets can just do this? Too bad this guy doesn't stand a chance. Ha! <laughs> Lame. And the battle's mine. I also get this awesome thing with my horse. Victory. <laughs> you guys suck. I wonder how I did. I might have lost some points by taking the damage inside the keep right there. Don't actually care that much. Huh, still a ranks. And I got an item card for a fire. There's a fire burning in my heart. Wait, I forgot about the heart piece that was in there, didn't I? Do I have to play this again because I forgot the heart piece? Hmm. By using item cards in the adventure mode search screen, you may unlock hidden objects and other secrets. You can gain item cards by winning battles marked with item card icons, such as the compass of compass, compass or bond. Uh, item card icons will continue to appear as you win more battles. Now you have a candle. Try searching on the map. You can find new weapons which can be then be won as battle rewards. Move to the map screen indicated. To start the search. Hey, By searching, press X, and then you can use item like the candle to uncover secrets. Do I have to? You discovered something suspicious. Hey, Using item cards to discover hidden things in adventure mode map search screen. Select the item card you want to use. Okay, and then choose the square you want to investigate on the map. If the square and card match, you've, successful, you've done a successful search. If your investigation succeeds, you may uncover a new root or powerful weapon, through, though, you, though you can only acquire them by meeting the battle rank requirements of that mission. Like that. Burned. That is very... Very Zelda one. <laughs> and if I go in. Wait, how did I? Oh, okay, this is the one I just did. Um. So what was this thing? Oh yeah. So if I go in here with Sheik, I can destroy everything. That's what it's done. So I want, might want to go in here with Sheik. So next time, let's play Hyrule Warriors Blind. We're going to be going into these missions and figuring out what we want to do exactly. I uh, Am I supposed to play this one as Fi? Yeah, I'm just supposed to play that one as Fi. I don't know what character that's supposed to be. He has a white face and it looks weird. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. So guys, see you next time.